Right, so here's a video of my homemade uh, CB Radio Go box. As you can see, it's got the CRT1N built into it with the uh, DIN plate. Uh, that switch there controls the USB ports and the uh, voltmeter. So you flick that and it goes off. That one there turns on and off the uh, amplifier, the linear amplifier. It's a KL35, so 35 watts. And as you can see, it's got the Springer antenna. And it does actually work rather well on the top of a hill. I mean, obviously, it's not going to um, beat an Antron 99, but it seems to do the trick. So, yeah. Right, so I'm going to show you the inside now. Well, it's, it's nothing special. I mean, that's the battery. It's, um, it's a motorcycle battery. It's a 12 volt, 9 amp power. And it replaces the, um, I think the UASA uh, YTX9B, BS or something like that. Uh, anyway, that's the amplifier, or the burner if you might prefer. 35 watts, and that's the back of the radio. That's the back of the voltmeter. That's where the antenna uh, goes in. It goes into the, um, the antenna port on the back of the amplifier. And that comes out goes into the back of the radio. So yeah, that's just a quick video of my little um, homemade go box with the CB radio. I uh, hope you enjoyed, hope you've um, been inspired. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. I couldn't help myself, I had to build one for the PMR as well. So uh, I've got to get the um, the mobile antenna. It's got, it's, what do you want if it's come through in the post really? All that does, that goes to the, um, the coax goes out the wall under there and goes up to um, the Serio CX440 and that's on the side of the shed I'll show you now right it's in the bushes I know it's in the trees you'll be able to see it but it is up there so yeah just completeness um, there you go thanks for watching